What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lair of the Clockwork Gods. Uh, we're currently stuck in this uh, construct. Once again, uh, we need to get to we need to get a passwords to open the the store. Right, this this store right here. I need to be able to log in and uh, set the. <sighs> Uh, get these I mean, uh, get these items for free. Get more money. Get like fifty thousand. Not sure how I'm gonna get all of them, but at least I can buy the seesaw. Uh, yeah, because this is not working. See, it doesn't connect to anything. I mean, that's uh, the whole joke of the game, right? <laughs> uh, monetization and whatnot. We got a couple of bras out. Um, we have some items in my inventory. Uh, we learned that the name of the dog is Pats. I'm not sure how that's gonna come into play. Uh, the creature's called Pat. Yeah. Maybe that has something to do with the... Because we need to know Dan's uh, maiden name. We need to know his first pet's name and the locker number. Uh, to be able to get him... The, um, retrieve the password from him. And I'm not really sure how... Any anything could uh, help me out. Uh, I tried talking to the bouncer. I tried uh, giving all the items to everything in here. Like up top, there's like a uh, screen, a hollow screen that learns, that tells me the dance moves, but I can't seem to use any items with it. I'm not really sure. Can I talk to this guy further? No. Yeah, I need to show him my dance moves and. Uh... God, uh, I don't know. Uh, obnoxious sign? No. Uh, Dan? Can I talk to you? Uh, yeah, so see? Uh, so mother's made a name and what? Mother's made a name, first pet's name and locker number. Right, um... I'm going to remember about high school again. Okay. Ah, uh, what? Was this here? This here all along? Just have to talk to him until we remember. Oh, uh, is that is that Ben and Dan? Yeah, they look like them. No, this gotta be another game, right? Play Devil's Kiss. Okay. 1996. Uh, it was a different time back then. Little did I know what awaited me that first day, the path I'd been set on. I I pulled up to the gate, and my life changed forever. What is this game? It's obvious one of them um, romantic simulators or something. Oh boy, my first day at Snootingham High School. Looking forward to meeting the other kids. Maybe I'll make my first ever friends. Go inside. Oh, it looks like it's a text adventure with some screen. Brums! My class starts any minute now, but I first I'm supposed to meet a fellow pupil for orientation. He'll be in the trophy room. I'll also need to find my books. Uh, let's go to the trophy room then, I guess. Whoever this idiot doing my orientation is, there's no sign of him. Guess I'll look around a bit while I wait. Uh, look at trophy cabinets. My mother also attended Snootingham High School. This is a photo of her when she went here. She is winning a big trophy for her sports achievements. I am so proud, I wish I knew how to do a sports. The plaque reads, Margaret passed winning gold for Snootingham High School 1961. What the fuck is going on? What is this game? Hey, you're the new kid? I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I told you it was Ben. Sorry I'm late, I was setting up a pylon. And this guy is Dan, yeah. Obviously. I had a pet snake when I was little. Wait, what? No, pylon. Ooh, is it? Aha, sorry, I tend to babble when I'm nervous. My name is Ben. I mean, Dan. My name is Dan. Your name's Ben. Yeah, I know my own name, new kids. It's stitched on the inside of all my clothes. This might be a bit of a strain for you, but what was your uh, snake called? It was called Word. Really? Word? That's an unusual name for a reptile. Yeah, and then the, after Microsoft Word, you know, the word processing software for MS-DOS compatibles running Windows 95? <laughs> okay. I know it well, I love the wide variety of Word art. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. Microsoft Word and Word art, this is ancient. I, I mean, not Microsoft Word, but Word art. 
I mean, I'm sure it still exists, but I remember the days of uh, high school papers and board dots. Uh, not Windows 95, but surely uh, Windows 2000 and Millennium. I remember those. And 98, very vaguely. Anyways, uh, you can make some super neat documents with it. Well, I guess that's orientation over. You better get to class, old Mr. McNichols get, gets real mad if you're late. I'll see you there. Alright, so the, the pet's name was Ward. Okay. Let's... Oh! No, um, fuck! Let's let me look at the cabinet. The mother's maiden name is... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Margaret Pass. Okay. So, what? Mother's maiden name, first pet's name. So that's passwords. Passwords. That's... The password is passwords? Uh, we still need the locker number, so I guess it will be password something. Uh, head back to the hallway. Does that say... Oh, you there! Boy! Don't you have class to get to? Uh, be strong. Be pathetic. Oh, goodness, hello, sir. My name is that. I don't care whom you are, boy. I have important things to take care of, and you're in my way. Stop dilly dallying in the hallway and get to class. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, go to locker. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Ah, here's my locker. Number one. My books should be in there. I'd better grab them before I'm late for class. Oh, the password is password1! Are you serial? I should have tried that, to be honest. <laughs> Got them. There's just something so wonderfully dispiriting about a big pile of fresh-smelling school books. Go back to all I could stop playing the game now. So we can quit, save? Uh, I'm gonna save, I guess. Okay. Uh, there's some settings. Are <laughs> you serial? Are these the actual settings? Screen? Yeah, actually, <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. All right, let me put this back on full screen. Uh, shit, not max resolution. Uh, we were fine like it were. Music. All right, cool. Uh, I want to quit. Perfect. So his locker's name is one. So the password is password one. All right. So now we need to go back to the store here. Admin uh, login. Can I admin login? Yeah, yeah. Shit. Hold up. Need to use my mouth. My, my mouse. Right, uh, so let's see. Uh, help. Login. Dan. Password one. Welcome back, Dan. Type help for an updated list of commands. Alright. Help. List items. Set price. Item name. New price. Uh, list items. Available items all okay. Uh go back. So set a price. Can I do all? And then can I do zero? Alright, cool. So now everything goes zero. Alright, so let's do exits. Oh perfect, look at this. Okay, so now I can't hold up. Alright, now the now we can buy everything. Buy the gun, buy the seesaw, and buy the torch. An inflatable plastic seesaw is every adventurer's dream item. Simply place on one side of the seesaw underneath and an object of your choosing and drop a heavy item on the other side. The resulting downforce, thanks to gravity, will propel object one through the air in an um, in the most satisfying way. Single use only. Okay. Uh, this is the main event. Has the constant need to uh, jump on enemies got you down? And you're annoyed by the many spanner puzzles? This exclusive gun-based item will see you solving problems like never before. Who needs to take a crowbar to a blockage when you can just blast your way through? And finally, the flaming torch. Scared of the dark? Bit worried about what monsters might be lurking in the shadows? Never fear, this old-fashioned flame-based torch is here to help. Simply set the target to light and watch it in unmitigating, unmitigating, unmitigated joy as they are able to see where they're going in even the darkest conditions. Comes with a free bonus ability to melt ice! Oh, Alright, that's nice. And everything else is uh, to be uh, coming soon. Alright. Let's resume the game now, shall we? Uh, so we have a bunch of new items. Uh, let me look at the inventory. So we have the gun, but let me look at this. As a general disdain for guns in adventure circles. 
Well, I'm sure Dan will muster up enough cognitive dissonance to use it on his enlightened quest. Sadly, it's not sold with batteries. Typical scumbag developers. <clears throat> exactly. Um, so can I give can I give the gun to Ben? Uh, let me see. There you go, buddy. Uh, it's not going to be much use uncharged. Shame I don't still have that exceptionally useful ba battery. Maybe the battery is compatible with this eSig? Oh! Let me try that then. Fully charged and ready to cause some damage. Alright, so let's give it to him then. I think he can use it. There we go. Look at lock and load, chum. Now, if you come across any philosophical dilem di dilem dilemmas, you can't jump your way out of, you can shoot your way out instead. All right. Nice power up. Yes, bang, boom, ratatatat. <laughs> Sweet. All right, no. Uh, oh shit, okay. Uh, RT while aiming to shoot. Damn, all right. So this is gonna cause some damage, I'm sure. Let me see. What can I shoot, though, first foremost? Can I shoot the blockage somehow? That was happening here. Let me see if I can... Can I shoot these uh, fucking things? Yes! Oh, nice! There should be guns in all point-and-click games. I'm going to be jumping all over your cap capitalist brainwashing now. Okay, so let's get... Um, good old Ben over there. So now we can see the dance moves. Dance sign, here we go. Wow, those are some keen moves and no mistake. I should be able to remember them. I'll just clear Gangnam Style out of my long-term memory. A noble sacrifice, <laughs> indeed. Uh, so I think that's learned. Let's go back down and present our moves to this guy over here. All right, mate, have a look at this. Uh, talk to. Hold up, just a second. I'm just gonna get Dan out of the way so we can see the moves. Check these out. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that looks a bit more <laughs> looks a bit wank uh, like wanking, but okay. Uh, nice done, Gramps. Mibble, you ain't so old, Ftaral. Good business. Chiggle. Okay, was that? Oh, hang on. Finally, take off all that nonsense busy work on that damn list. As long as we keep these bras on. Oh shit, I fucking skipped. Unless there's any more hoops these young people today want to insist we jump through? Well, hopefully not. Alright, let's go, I think. Let's check the boards. Yeah, it seems all green across. It's very bright, but uh, it looks like, like like it's all green. So, my good man, can we go through now? Uh, Alright, if we come in? Nothing to do with me? Yeah. Yeah, they all said yes, sir. Uh... uh Doodles. Yeah, can I just open the door then? Use. Right, then. Let's go clubbing. Woo! Alright, we're finally cool enough to get in the club. Even if, if it does involve wearing women's bras. Ugh. Okay, can I say something? Hey, you're speaking in full sentences. Yeah, I want to try and put this in a way you understand. Finding a man wearing a bra to be the height of hilarity is kind of outdated and insensitive. Oh, come on, it's only a joke. We're totally liberal. Yeah, at least 10% of the people we interact with are women. You're lib liberal for the mi 90s, maybe. Wait a minute, have we? Have we turned into the bigoted old relative to whom you have to gently explain that their culture views are now outdated and offensive? Oh god, we totally have. Quick, let's get into the club, before we turn into the kind of person who thinks that being the only one on the comments thread getting, co <laughs> getting called out of touch just means that everybody else are naive sheeple. Hurry, I'm feeling the urge to type get a life into a computer. 
Let's go in, quickly. <laughs> Here we go. That's our scene. Oh, yeah. Uh, Q for the bar. Yeah. Shit. Oh my god, the Q is huge. Why haven't they got more stuff on? But... Can we look... Uh, gyrating youngsters. It's like a sea of subtle. Okay. Uh, can I switch? I can't switch to Dan. I'm not sure what's going on. This is all very exciting. Yeah, I feel young and cool again. Uh, discuss the ambience. It's a bit dark though, isn't it? Yeah, and quite loud. Discuss drinks. The prices are rather unreasonable. Yeah, and there's no lion's roar on top. It's all these new American laggers. And the music? This music shit. Yeah, what's wrong with uh, some Hawkwind or Marillion? Maybe we should try popping off with someone? Shall we walk around aimlessly for a few hours in the hopes of copying off with someone? I think I'd rather go home and go to bed. Then I can get up early in tomorrow morning and do something productive with the weekend? Good idea. No way. Let's have some <laughs> Wait, is that it? Construct complete. Assimilating days. Uh, feeling... Oh yeah, they, they definitely feel old now. Yeah. <laughs> Success. Alright, alright. I mean, that, that construct. Now it's disappointment. Oh god. Uh oh, this seems ominous. Look at all these monster corpses. What could take out something this big and monstrous? Don't sweat it, pal. I'm packing heat now. Any monsters come at me? This time they'll be getting a taste of my hot lead action. Hmm, just mind where you point that hot thing. <laughs> Yeah, there's a big, uh, like, white boar here stashed, sleeping soundly. Um, what was I saying? Don't even remember. Bunch of. Is this. Can I die here, or what's going on? Let's uh, find out! Oh, God, I can't really. Hold up. Me. Going on loads of bones. Let's look at this, shall we? Uh, look at this. What kind of monster would pick clean human bones and then store them in a neat pile like this? What kind of monsters looking for some hot gun payback? That's who. Okay, Revolve Crap, calm down. <laughs> uh, lift call button. Can I use this? Damn it, it's busted. Mm, I might be able to fix it. There are just a few dozen tiny bolts here that need tightening. Okay. Uh, can I use my spanner on them? Ah, I was hoping for a more meaty puzzle. Use spanner on broken machinery isn't exactly inspiring, is it? Okay, well, you'll need to watch my back while I bring the lift back online. Those monsters could return at any time. Don't worry, buddy. I've got the, my Brillo new uh, hand cannon and an itchy trigger finger. Oh no, they're coming. I'll be as quick as I can here. Just get up there and keep those things away from me. All right. Uh, how do, how did I shoot? Okay. Where are the monsters, dude? I don't see anyone. I better keep my eye out. Yeah, definitely. I'm ready for you, you bastards. Where are they? I don't see where they are. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, the lift looks like it's here. There was no monsters, dudes. Dude, lift's here. Let's go before those things come back. I'm not grabbing him now. It's too much exciting shooting to be done. Okay. Oh. Oh, we didn't get... Oh, this is the disappointment. Okay. <laughs> I get... All right. All right, game. All right. You funny. You funny sometimes. You funny sometimes. <laughs> I thought I was gonna... I was gonna get to shoot something. Fucking hell. Anger. Oh. What's this? Dying all this? Yes! 
pure platforming. Oh no, this is going to be bliss. I guess I'll just wait here and fume quietly at the lack of interactive content. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna suck, isn't it? Yeah. I can already fucking feel. Oh god. Good fuck's sake. Come on. Up we go. Enjoying it? Oh, fuck's sake. I'm gonna. I'm actually. Uh, let me see. Options. Game. Uh, dialogue. Let's put the dialogue speed even lower because, like, this is going. I'm skipping through dialogue. I shouldn't be. Okay, resume. Oh, what is this shit? Can I go down? Uh, possibly. Aha, whoops. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, there's a laser. I can't even see it. Whoops, a daisies. So, how do I. How the fuck? Oh, okay. Another trip to Dino Lands. <laughs> oh, god. Oh, duh, fuck. Shit. Oh, let's go. Nice. Alright, another truck points. Nice. Ooh, I can shoot the laser now. That'll come in handy. Just get down. Get down! Get to the chopper! Nearly there. Thank fuck. Oh, what happened? Oh no! That one was my fault. Really? Was it? Uh, I think I have to go... Oh, okay, there's fucking lasers here. I didn't even notice them. Alright. Ooh! Oh, fuck my head! <laughs> Man, that stinks! <laughs> oh, seriously, I just died. Oh, come on! <laughs> Everything going alright, Pickle? Yeah, you fucked the right off. Die! Fuck right off for a start. Okay. Uh, let's go. Shit, not there. Unbelievable. Just un unbelievable. Fuck. Nice. Let's see. Oh, is this block back now? Oh my god. Oh, that was close. Alright, made it. Really angry yet? Fuck off. Oh yeah, he's definitely. I'm having a blast, actually. <laughs> Oh. oh, that sucks. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh shit. Maybe I'm supposed to die like a bunch of times. This is impossible. So, who the fuck made this? Oh god. What are you going to do? Fucking looking at things? Look at things. Just trying to help here. Ah, oh, damn it. Almost had it though. This is just... This is so shit. Is it? It's actually not so bad. Ooh. Gotta wait. Perfect. Ah, damn it. Why make this? Why even bother? Ah, oh, man, man, that was so close. Go, let's go, let's go. Go, nice. Uh, what do I have to do? Go there. Just wait for this. Look how many checkpoints are there. Ah, fuck. I, I still picked a bunch of numbers. Uh, not sure where to go. All right, up here. There's so many checkpoints, what the fuck, man? This is so fucking, um... Oh, god, shit. Another checkpoint. 
shit this fuck right off the bottom something. Oh, here we go. I'll be honest, that made me livid. Why, why anyone would put that many traps all over is beyond me. I'm mainly angry at how long they took you. You can't rush perfection, Ben. Damn straight. Can't rush perfection. This reminded me of a level in a... Or at least uh, a meta... Uh, no, a metaphor, but like a reference to uh, the Super Meaty Boy games. Where the walls were like full of spike, it was all red it, at some point when he lose so many lives and blood splatters all over. I played Super Meat Boy for a while and uh, gave up after two hours. <laughs> I, I don't really like to play games that frustrate. The, their intention is uh, to frustrate you. <clears throat> well done, lads. Halfway through. All right, you know the drill. More RAM, new level. You uh, seem to have calmed down a bit now, mechanic. Well, I've been doing this a long time, you know. I am ancient machinery, after all. Well, us two whippersnappers will be back in the jiffy. Really? That soon? That'd be a shame. I mean, we can pat it out a little if you... Oh, just fuck right off, the two of you, will you? I'm trying to think. These constructs take a lot of time out of me. Ah, oh, I see what's going on. Let's leave it to its own devices for a bit. Good call. Let's explore the rest of those temple ruins now I can wall jump. Must be a ram down there. Must be. Makes perfect logical sense. Alright. Come with me, Ben. Let's look for the fucking... Can I jump up there? Or uh, is that still another thing? Is there something up there? Still not sure. Ooh, wait. Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. Fuck. Just... You fucking... Wait. Oh, there's a wall there. Serious? Oh, I can't jump that far. There, there is a uh, a lever though. I thought I could just jump. Okay, maybe not. Uh, let me pick up that pen. Does this take us somewhere now, or this has no exit? One of us needs to find the other end first. Okay, not yet. So, let's see... Uh, we've gone through there. Can I shoot? Yeah, we can shoot these uh, things now. Nice. So let's go through here. Wait, can I not? Oh, shit. Hey! Sorry. Slipped. Oh, I can kill him with the gun? Uh, hold up. Can I not? Fuck's sake. Can I not go through here? Not sure. What the fuck's going on here? Um. It keeps going back. Like, there's no way I can get. Yeah, I mean, there's not even... Yeah. Okay, so definitely not through there. Uh, let me... Teleport here. Maybe I can wall jump to somewhere else. Potentially. Not really sure what would be wise. Mm, no, I think I've done this bit. Let's try and go back. Uh, maybe down here somewhere? Ah, oh, damn it. Sorry, dude. Guess we are stuck. Shit. Just say. Fuck sake. Stay there for a while. Hold on. Aha! Oh, damn it. Let me clear them things out first. Okay, perfect. Yes! New section. Alright, Temple Depths. Let's see what exciting secrets you hold. There's this right here. Can I use it? No, but I can get... Uh, shit. 
Fuck, hold up. I can get this guy to come here. Uh, yeah, go through the checkpoints, and then let's read what this all about is. Can't believe management are completely abandoning the old formats. They've got a much richer texture than this new digital stuff. Is there some way we could keep them active? Like, what if alongside the construct we release a, like a, a little old school experiment, experience? Like an interactive comic or something. And here's the twist. To complete the construct you have to glean pertinent clues from the experience. Nice. And then someone replied to him. Uh, these new constructs, that's unworkably dumb, Nigel. How, how would that even work? What, are they going to log out of the helmet, go play this other thing to get a clue, then go back to the main construct? Terrible. Oh yeah, just like... <laughs> just like we did. With the whole uh, that Devil's Kiss game and whatnot. Alright. Let's see... Ooh, what? Okay. One of these... Uh... Alright, just gotta time this perfectly. Alright, perfect. Okay, this thing is spinning. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, damn it. Shit. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. Alright. Oh my god. I did it again, man. I have no patience whatsoever, honestly. Oof, I was close. Oh man, I thought. I I had it. Oh, slipped again, did we? Sorry, it's the controls are uh, quite new. Yeah. Yeah, that must be it. Alright, so let's wait now. Okay. Just be patient. God, whew, I thought I was gonna die there. There's some monkey faces on the... Not sure what that is all about. Damn it! Did it again. Gotta wait for the fucking thing. Go! Oh. All right. All right, we made it. Hold up. Perfect. Uh, no, that's that's not gonna work. Hold up! Oh, fuck's sake. There we go! Ah, oh, that was close though. Oh no, we still got it. That's fine. Uh, is there something on the other side? No. Alright. Carry on through. Perfect. Uh, there's some candles. Ben! Teleport over here if you want. There's loads of boring shit here for you to look at. Does it look exposi exposition? Yeah, it's all old-fashioned doodles. On my way. Intriguing carvings. Look at. Ooh, these pictographs are an ancient historical record. Want to hear a story, Dan? Yes, please. Once upon a time, there were some monkeys. They lived in underground caves to keep safe from all the world's scary dangers. The primal monkey society revolved around flights, fights to the death. Makes sense. I've been stuck underground with you for just a few hours, and I'm already getting irritable. <laughs> uh -huh. Over time, all the brains in their arena seeped into the ground. That, this bit's unclear, but it looks like that seepage actually helped them somehow. And that whole area became a sacrifice site. Seepage is such a horrible word. Please don't use it again. Anyway, the monkey survived long enough to evolve into humanity and built underground sacrificial chambers to keep feeding it the, feeding it the brains of sexy virgin monkeys to it. <laughs> chambers like this one? Yeah, looks like you sacrifice a sexy virgin on this altar here. And a syrup... Cerebral duct system opens up. A what? A brain matter drainage pipe. Doesn't seem to have been used for ages now, though. Quick question. Does it specifically specify sexy virgins? Or did you add that for embellishment? I added that. So any old virgin will do? Yup. Why do you ask? Oh. 
no reason. Oh, he's a. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you a version? Sacrificial altar. It's one of those old, tiny sacrificial altars they used to have in the olden days. It's covered in a layer of dust and dried out guts. Mmm, mmm, lovely. Okay, Dan, have you got anything to get out to your chest? Uh. I have a weird feeling. What did you make of that last lot of levels? Uh, I have a weird feeling of deja vu. I think it's from working though through a bunch of themed areas constructed specifically for us. Hey, yeah! It's like that alternate dimension adventure we had 10 years ago. Uh oh, you don't think evil future us are behind all this again, do you? I was thinking more that it's a developing metaphor for neoliberalism and capitalist life milestones. Let's hope it's neither option. They're both mind-numbingly boring. Okay. Um, you concerned about the apocalypses? Oh man, I'd forgotten about those until you brought them up. Yeah, we should get back to work. I don't want some giant robot lasering my Star Wars collection speechless with its big dumb laser eyes. It's important to have something to fight for in this life. It sure is. Okay, we uh, just... Can we place Dan here then? And then kill him? <laughs> uh, Dan, my man. Sorry to do this to you, but you gotta go. Kill him. Nah, he's sweet enough already. And sticky enough. Ah. Okay, let me see what's down here, actually. Oh. Nothing. I guess, uh... How do we use this? We gotta use this somehow. Uh, maybe... Maybe we kill ourselves in it? Hmm. 